we'll kick off. Um, I know, I think I know all of you guys, but I'm Sarah Glass with Interface and my teammate Christina Wirtz is here with me as well. Hello. And I'll uh, pass it off to Mary Beth and Ashley. Hi everybody, I'm Mary Beth with Fuzzy Space. And hi. Hi guys. <laughs> that might not know me. Um, it's really good to see you guys. And Ashley's gonna um, start us off with um, the setup and sort of the instructions of getting started. So yes. Hi guys, Ashley. I think I know everyone as well. We just want to thank you for joining us for our second craft night. Um, I know most of you guys did participate in the, the tie-dye, which was super fun. So we were trying to like level up every time and it's, it's hard to keep coming up with a better craft, but um, we felt like this one was really fun considering it's Tuesday tea. Um, and so we found these really cute mugs that you can create with alcohol ink. So uh, what is alcohol ink? So alcohol ink is um, fast drying, high pigmented ink that can be um, manipulated and kind of moved around with alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Um, typically you'll see a lot of people do this on UPO paper, which is this kind of, it's like this super shiny non-porous paper that the, the ink can kind of move around organically on or ceramic tiles, glassware. There's just anything that's non-porous is a really good surface for alcohol ink. Um, once the ink is dropped onto it, it's really easy to manipulate it. We sent you um, a couple of tools. Um, one of the easiest things, you've got some really cool interface logo straws, which is a really fun way to kind of manipulate and move the, the, the ink. Um, it's, we'll go through a lot of the stuff and we're going to show you a cool video, but um, it's fast drying. So it, it will kind of dry up pretty quickly. Um, so you want to move sort of fast. But the cool thing about alcohol ink is that all you have to do is add a little bit more rubbing alcohol, hand sanitizer, vodka, whatever you're using. Um, as kind of your base, it will re-engage it and then you'll be able to maneuver it around a little bit more. Um, you should have all gotten a teacup, a saucer, and a spoon to play with. Um, and like Mary Beth said, you're going to have a lot of extra ink. So, um, you know, this hopefully this just kind of gives you guys some inspiration to do some more fun stuff in the future. Um, we are going to start off by showing you this cool little, it's just a minute and a half video of kind of how you work with alcohol inks. Um, this is a designer that is on YouTube and she's using a uh, UPO paper for this, but we will be using this on our um, teacups. Play that. Hello. Hello. Oh, and I need to grab my stuff, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure what ground is on, but that's okay. Bahar, if you can hear me, Mirko says hi. <laughs> <laughs> So you can really see how fluid it is. That was just a fun little video that kind of give you a little bit of an idea of kind of how easily you can kind of manipulate and move the, the alcohol ink. 
yes now we can we can go back to it as well so what you guys got in all of your packages um, is all of the supplies that you're going to need to be able to do this so you've all gotten um, your teacups I hope everyone was able to find rubbing alcohol or some type of alcohol. I know Sarah is using hand sanitizer um, because she couldn't find any. And I think somebody may be using alcohol, <laughs> some, some vodka, um, but really anything with a high percent. Oh, Mary Beth has little wipes. Um, but anything with that percentage of alcohol is going to help manipulate um, the alcohol. Ink. And if you don't have that, it's just a very high pigmented color, um, but this is gonna help. It. Um, and then you should have all gotten paint brushes. So we will need um, a couple of paint brushes. One of them will be used for your actual um, rubbing alcohol, isotope, or whatever alcohol you have. You will be using one of them for that. And then the other one you can use for the Mod Podge at the end. Um, you all got some acetone. So we have these fun little just acetone wipes. Acetone is really great for helping you remove it in areas if you mess up or you don't like what you did or you want to kind of move it from an area, you can use the acetone to remove it. So don't worry, this isn't permanent until you kind of set it. Um, you can always redo and rework it. Um, and then you finally, you got your alcohol inks. Um, there's just a couple of them. If you haven't opened them, I know Mary Beth had opened hers and she used a scissors to cut off the top. <laughs> Not, make sure you cut very yeah, close. Use a dot if you have one. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want ink all over your scissors. Cleans up okay though. Yeah, so if you have something sharp, maybe poke the, the hole at the top with, some, with that um, pin or whatever to kind of open that. Um, does anybody have any questions? From this point, so I'm just going to the whole beginning. So I'm going to watch you guys. Okay. Okay. Does it um, have to have little like bowls to put like alcohol in? You don't have to. So okay. when I do, I'm going to do a little demonstration for you where I'm literally just going to use it from the bottle and just kind of put drops on it. Um, and then because I'll already have the alcohol rubbing alcohol on the thing, it'll start to kind of blend and move and kind of fall where it wants to go. Here um, are just some inspirational images of a couple of mugs that have been done. There you can see one with the, with the saucer, which is really cute. Green. And the instructions. So this seems like a lot, but it's really a very simple craft. Um, it's not gonna take you long, um, but what I wanna do is just kind of do a quick demonstration. I've done a couple of these, and what I'm gonna do is start off with my actual alcohol, rubbing alcohol, or hand sanitizer, or whatever alcohol <laughs> you have. I am gonna put mine into a little bowl. Can we use whiskey? Can I use whiskey, Ashley? <laughs> of course you can, so that it doesn't um... <laughs> Let us know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I am putting mine into a bowl because I um, tend to dip my paintbrush back into it and I don't want that color to get into my full bottle of the very um, sought after alcohol. I guess it's hard to find these days. <laughs> I don't want to waste it. Um, but what I'm going to start is I'm going to just start on a portion of the cup because it dries really fast. So I'm just going to use my paintbrush and I would recommend doing it from the bottom. You don't really want the rubbing alcohol or anything at the mouth where you're going to be putting your lips. Um, just, I wouldn't recommend it unless you want to, unless you want to taste that vodka that you're using. Um, so put the, the rubbing alcohol directly onto the cup. I'm gonna use blue just because it's really vibrant and hopefully you guys can see it better. But I'm just going to put a couple of little drops at it and you can see how it starts to kind of move. You can just move it with your hands. You could start blowing using your straw. 
a little bit more. You see how it just kind of so you all first then before uh, putting the paint, right? What was that? You put the alcohol first before get, it gets dry, then you add the paint, right? That is correct. Yep, because the alcohol is what's going to actually give it that um, ability to move around. Um, and it does dry fast, so mine's already dry right now. And if I wanted to add more, I could add it onto here, continue moving around. Um, but you could, so it's really kind of intense in a couple of colors just add a little bit more alcohol in, or rubbing alcohol to it and it'll thin it out and it'll start to kind of manipulate and go into more directions. So it's, you really have to give up control. The alcohol ink is going to kind of do what it wants. Um, you can, like I said, use your straw to kind of blow it in different directions to kind of get it to what you want to do. Um, but if you don't love what you do, don't forget, you can use the acetone wipes, or if you have a full bottle of acetone, you can use that and wipe it off and start over. It's not, you know, it's really easy to kind of just play around. The Once you're done and you're like, I love my design, that's when um, you actually want to put it in the oven and let it set. So you want it to be completely dry. I put it in the oven for 30 minutes at 300 degrees, almost like a kiln, just to kind of let it set. Um, when you're done, you can add mod, mod pod to it to kind of help it set as well, but it would be good to go. Um, I definitely would not dishwash these, and I wouldn't um, scrub really hard on them, so they're going to be, you just want to be very careful, but yeah, any other questions? Would white wine work? <laughs> it might. <laughs> Could you layer different kind of colors? Wait, right? You can blend the colors, definitely. Um, if you wanted to, to blend the two colors to make a different color, I would recommend doing that in maybe a different bowl or a dish, um, and then using your paintbrush maybe to add that color. Or you could take, like I have pink here. I'll just add it to. I'm gonna try some Bacardi. <laughs> I'll let you know oh, how it yeah. works. <laughs> if you don't have dropping alcohol, what else can I use? Do you have liquid hand sanitizer? Yeah. That'll work. Okay. So that's what I'm using right now. Okay, I gotta find mine. What is the container, you know, the, uh, the white things inside? Oh. You guys send it to? That's Mod Podge. So the little, um, the little cup that you guys have is uh -huh. Mod with the little black cap. So that's what you'll put on at the very end. Oh, I see. That'll help set it into its place. Do you guys want to rewatch that video and kind of see how you can manipulate it? Or do you just want to kind of just get to it and see how it, how it flows? <laughs> Can we say the video one more time, if you don't mind? Okay. So again, this is um, an artist on, in, she's on YouTube, and she's using the UPO paper, which is um, a glossy type paper. It's non-porous, but it's the same concept. She's using her little blending solution in her bottle is rubbing alcohol as well. Um, which is what help, is helping her kind of dilute it and move it around a lot. So I'll play this again.
Wow, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> How's it going? Ashley, let's see your example. Okay, well, I actually did stuff. So I cleaned off the first part that I did just because I didn't want the pink. It didn't turn out the way I wanted. So I'm starting over. I just used the acetone to clean it off. And then I'm just redoing the whole process where I'm going to add more I'm going to do the same thing because it turned out to something I didn't want. It. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna clean it. Oh, it's, it's like so a whiteboard, you know? Yeah. It's giving. <laughs> and the more alcohol you put on it, the more transparent it is. So if you guys want more of a, you know, translucent color, it's just like watercolor. Of course, it dilutes it. And I have orange, and mine turned out like coral, <laughs> which I didn't intend. But I might just leave it because it's kind of cool. I think mine's dry. I, I've got like a teal yeah. color. The plate's like really fun, so. That looks great. I love it. I love how it's asymmetrical. <laughs> It's really fun. Yeah, and you can, you really can layer colors. I think that's like the cool thing about it. I used blue and red. It doesn't really show in the camera, but it looks. That looks cool. That is cool. I already wiped part of it with the acetone. I have blue all over my desk, by the way. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so alcohol should clean it, right? Hopefully. Your colors are really saturated too, Tally. Yeah, I'm adding um, alcohol now. The red is more brown, I guess. I thought it would turn out more pink once I added. Yeah, definitely try adding more alcohol. So I had orange and I, I did a bowl as practice, but it's really cool because it turned out to be pink just because I actually ended up spraying it with alcohol. So it really, um, made that orange more translucent and it, it gave it a really different It's definitely different than what I intended, but that's okay because I like it um, But yeah, the ink if you don't put alcohol, it's going to be really saturated which can be really nice, too But while you guys are working um, Should we should we show some inspiration photos? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Actually, I'm sorry. Ashley, I'll wait for you to finish so you can. Oh, no, no, no. Here's like where I am, guys. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's so good. Very subtle. It's really pretty. But I started over, so you guys can too if you don't like it. <laughs> exactly. It didn't turn out as pretty as yours. It is I do very very small chunks at a time because um so then i can kind of blow it and not let it go too far um so try doing like smaller sections okay. yeah i'm doing mine and mine is really chunky and i'm doing really small sections how much alcohol do you put on it um a very little drop i like almost don't even let a full drop do it like when i was doing this really kind of subtle area i did very very little um, droplets. Do you brush it afterward? Like with I brush? didn't. No, I, yeah. what I did is when I, once I put it on and I let it drip, I quickly stopped it from dripping and then blowed it just with, just using my breath. I kind of stopped it from moving and dried it really quickly. 
I'm getting some cool patterns. Oh, yeah. What the heck I'm doing? It looks like a third grader's artwork. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> oh, I want to start. So how do I get it off again? Don't worry, <laughs> mom. Let me see you. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, maybe I'll just make this layer. We'll see. <laughs> Can I try myself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use your acetone wipe and you can, even if like you just want to just remove a little part of it, you can just, you know, manipulate or remove it just from that area. Like I'm going to remove it from around the top here. It's funny, the rum adds brown tones to my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing too, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm totally experimenting with whatever is happening at this point. I'm not even trying to do a method of anything. And that is what it's all about. <laughs> so it's okay. There is no commitment to these. Um, while you guys are working, I'm just going to flip through um, some inspiration images and, and kind of highlight some different artists maybe to help you guys get inspired and just different techniques. I'm sure you're all learning these as you go. Um, so I thought this quote was very appropriate for the method that we're using. So this is a quote by Picasso and it's, I begin an idea and then it becomes something else. So I think that this kind of captures alcohol ink because as Ashley was saying you kind of have to like relinquish control and I think a lot of us might not be used to doing that with design or with our art so sometimes we kind of have to just let things have their own mind and their own energy and that is okay try to um, let your creation evolve and go with the flow all right so and hopefully you guys are but that's really what this is all about so these are just some images I thought were really pretty. These are some saucer inspirations. And it just kind of shows how different, you know, you can create these to be. So different textures, different fluidity, different colors kind of evoke different um, styles. So I really love the one in the middle just because it's like really subtle and sort of, I guess, unexpected with ink. Mm -hmm. so that's, I love the colors in that one. Yeah, so this one, and that it's funny because that's probably just black and maybe some red that's really diluted down. Um, so just really different. Mm -hmm. And then um, I just wanted to also share like interesting artists, highlight some different art um, that they do. So Ashley was talking about Yupo paper. So although we're doing these on mugs and you know can do them on ceramics, um, there's of course a lot of alcohol art just on Yupo paper. So this artist in particular, I just really like her sort of fluid style and that um, really like thin sort of appearance of the ink. So this is Joanna Koskinen, I think her name is. It's just really, it's more neutral really, her palette, but then you know, she has a really broad color spectrum. So these are some of her um, artwork, you know, just in more vibrant reds and magentas and definitely gives it a different feel. And then really pretty blues. And again, you can just see like all the depth when you start layering the ink and when it just kind of settles, it's, it's so pretty, it's so fluid. This one definitely reminds me of water. Okay. And then this is a different artist and you can immediately tell she kind of has like a different way of how she moves the ink around and blends it. So it's definitely more like a tighter kind of wrinkle or like texture feel and then like more jewel tones. So just really pretty. And of course, like the blending of the color. So this is a more simple palette, but again, she, someone was asking about sort of combining those inks together. Definitely, you know, you can, it's just like any other paint almost where you can create your own colors by mixing them. 
but I love this palette. Green. Hmm. Yeah, just green and gold and really warm. And then this one I thought was really interesting just because it's very different, but again, it's just alcohol ink. And um, this artist, um, Alexis, oh my gosh, what's her last name? Bonavita Cola. It does more like landscape sort of um, styles with it. So she like blends it more. Um, I just think it's so beautiful. So again, very different style. And again, a very different vibe for these. Um, this artist definitely does more intricate and sort of like, you know, botanic almost, like plant sort of creations with the alcohol ink. So I just thought this was really interesting. Of course, this would be very difficult, I would imagine, to capture on like a teacup. <laughs> but <laughs> Yubo paper is a different story. I've got to test it out. I'm, I can't wait. I need to buy some. So. And I love this one too. This is very different um, just because it's a much more uh, subtle palette. And um, the techniques are so different here, of course. Like I think the artist probably used some sort of ring or something in that top left one um, to kind of manipulate the ink. Um, so just, you know, different and then almost like a floral pattern in the right hand corner. And this was really fun. So, um, <laughs> you know, you can apply, of course, like alcohol ink prints to different items. So I thought it was kind of fun just to take a look at um, different artists and how they, of course, have their originals and then you can apply it to different products. Like, so this is from Society6 that of course takes artists work and then, you know, prints it on different products. So but this is cheating, of course, right? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Aspiration and goal. Yes, yes. I just had to share. And same here. So this artist, this is her original artwork, of course, on Yugo paper and then printed on mugs. Um, but just kind of fun to see the difference. So hopefully, even after this um, craft, you guys can, you know, scour your house <laughs> and play around more and find glassware, whatever you have, um, just to test out the ink in other ways. So get creative. Also very calming. I don't know. If you're having a stressful day, I feel like this like makes you slow down and just kind of like let go a little bit. That's yeah, very zen. Yeah. Tea. <laughs> I think I just found my new hobby just for that. <laughs> I know, right? Everybody at Christmas is going to get a uh, of alcohol ink cards from Tally. <laughs> Absolutely. Cards. I already found another thing on my desk. I just happened to have. This is like a, a smelly thing, like a smelly stick. Oh, yeah. Or, a diffuser. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. So, this is I, my cup. I think I overdid it, guys. I don't know what to oh. do. One side is like that, and then the other side is. Oh, I like yeah. that That's side, how it just like... What do I do? Yeah, I like this side the best too, but do I take off all the, the two-tone on this side or no? If you... I like how it you, moves in. Yeah, I think that if you, if it's too much on that one side, start by adding some more alcohol, um, rubbing alcohol to it with no color and trying to thin it out if you want to, or you could completely scratch it by wiping it off with acetone. But if you want to try and dilute that. it first, yeah, you could just add more rubbing alcohol. Which I don't have, but I'm using sanitizer. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I'm using. You don't have alcohol in the <laughs> I need to thin it. You're using your whiskey. What happened, Hella? No, I, I drank it instead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, better with an ice cube, I'm telling you. <laughs> we have some, um, we can take a side break. Ashley, I know you're, I feel so bad asking you. I don't know. But we do have some tea inspired cocktails. You guys all received some tea bags in your little kit. So we thought it'd be fun to give you guys some fun um, recipes um, to make some cocktails with your tea. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and demo this birds and the bees martini. It's pretty easy. So I actually used um, green queen herbal tea that I think some of you guys had in your bag. So I made the simple syrup last night um, and I actually used it with agave instead of honey. So you guys could do that too. So I've got my little thing of simple syrup right here. And I've got, I'm gonna start off with some ice. Mommy, you said no green. I changed my name. Sugar all the This recipe calls for gin, but if you guys aren't gin drinkers, this would also be really good with vodka. Um, I'm a gin drinker, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that 47 monkeys out. And so we've got um, two ounces of gin, and then we're going to do um, an ounce of lemon, so fresh squeezed lemon juice, and then your tea-infused simple syrup. This is that classic making lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> and then I like to ice my glass before. I like a nice frosted martini glass. Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, I never have room in the freezer for that. Too mm. many, too many kids. I'll just send it your way, but it's it's very good, very easy to do. Um, so you can experiment. I know you guys have a lot of tea flavors in there too. So um, this one's actually pretty good. I'm sure chamomile's good. So whatever flavor you guys gravitate towards. Um, and I know an ice cold drink right now. It's so hot outside. <laughs> Sounds really good. And then we've got a couple more. We can send these to you guys. Um, the next one I think is a yeah hot chai toddy. So I'm a big fan of um, chai, and I love a good hot toddy. So <laughs> if you guys end up going somewhere cold or maybe for Christmas, this would be a really good um, drink and pretty easy. Um, just hot, hot chai tea, honey, fresh lemon, um, and some bourbon, or this could also be really good with rum. Um, and then the last one is back porch, back porch tea. So this is so perfect right now. It's so hot outside. <laughs> um, so definitely, um, get your gin out or your vodka out and you could do the fruit infused iced tea. Um, so they've got a couple options for you, but you guys could use some of the, um, I think there's a fruit iced tea you guys have in your kit. You could use for that. Um, a sliced white peach and top it off with some seltzer water. Um, I'm a huge fan of Topo Chico right now. So um, you could get something like that or something similar, but. Love it. Just some fun ideas to use your tea. Thank you, Sarah. I made the back porch. Strawberry <laughs> field. Super delish. Love it. Mm. I don't know wow. if I like it or not. That's awesome. Oh, that's so oh, that's cool. beautiful. That's a oh. really rich color, too. I'm going to go in and try the black. I'm going to leave the mug. I don't know. I like, I love like you. I, I like the side. I love it. I don't love the side. Just remove that part. Try it. And... Do you guys feel free to share your progress? Because it's always fun. If you like. If you want, <laughs> don't be shy. <laughs> oh, 
I know I really like what I did on one part of it, but I am trying to replicate it around the other side. It's, and it's hard. Not doing so well. <laughs> and yeah, the I've... yellow is like a really dark, like ochre. It's like really pretty. It's really pretty. Yeah. And you're just using two, and they blend it together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those colors oh, are that's really pretty, nice. Kathy. I like that. Thank Would you. Yeah. Like a teal too, or a blue that you're using? It's just the green and yellow, and I think that when they mix, it becomes that. Or actually, it's turquoise. You're right, you're right. It looks green in the bottle, but it says turquoise. I just started I using brown one today. this morning. Oh, that one. I like cool. how that one had turned out. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a coffee cup. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. So, Sarah, are you using, for you guys that have the spray, are you spraying it? Because that's another really cool, different technique if you spray. I am spraying, but it looks like the color is changing. I haven't done that yet. I've only done, actually, maybe I'll do it for this one. I've been, like, adding it and then putting the ink on and letting it drip. So, like, this is, like, my first like my little plate yeah. and then I did like a I'm not sure if I'm done with this yet I just kind of did like an asymmetrical drip cup but I might layer I might add a couple layers onto this but I should try the spray I like that idea <laughs> I can't it's believe it like worked different texture so it's kind of like a sand nice oh, that's cool. yeah ah, oh I love it and layering and oh, layering. I like it. <laughs> it changes about every two seconds. <laughs> yeah, but that's like you can't go in, you can't go wrong. This is actually really fun. I have my fan blowing and it helps me to move the paint. Oh uh, yeah. There you go. That's really yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah don't forget about your straws. Yeah, I didn't make a mess. I know I was like running out of breath, like <laughs> <laughs> And they're reusable and sustainable. That's what that little cleaner is to go down the middle. Huh? Yes. I don't know. We could. We could. Mm -hmm. I think I just made my desk worse. I don't know how to clean this. No, I had a white shirt on and I quickly realized that was a bad idea. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let me do the tie dye again. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, you guys got me addicted, just so you know it. I've been buying on Amazon desk towels. I think I have like 50 of them and 50 masks and 50 everything. I have never That's done awesome. this. I have too much fun. I love it. What's cool? It really was addicting. That one. Yeah, I'm finding that if you just put the alcohol in like a little tiny thing, the ink won't go anywhere the alcohol isn't. So you can paint little shapes oh. with the alcohol first. Show. Okay. Show. Show. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me see. Okay. Let's try. Okay. So I have a, like, I don't, I'm like, why can't I see my own camera? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have like this kind of blank area here. And if I just paint, not to get too much, like right in that, let's just do like a little dot. And then I'm putting the ink onto like the table first instead of pouring with the little mm -hmm. bottle because I feel like it's hard to get it. But then, oh, I think I waited too long. <clears throat> I like that head. Hard to show you, sorry. But see, it kind of stays. I don't want to tilt it too much. It stays in that spot because oh, cool. there's alcohol. Yeah. If I tip it a lot, it will go. <laughs> 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 I know I could probably like have an overhead camera, right? If we were doing this, like, <laughs> That's like legit. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like Do the TikTok. The TikTok creative, like all the people painting on TikTok, I'm like obsessed. Oh. I just watch it for hours. It's relaxing to watch. Yeah. 
That's Baha. That's your project, <laughs> Baha. TikTok. Did she go away? TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Let's do that. I need to get a overhead camera too. <laughs> that looks awesome. Am I the only person who's never used TikTok? Like I've seen. No, uh, I, I don't even know. No. I am like afraid of yet another thing to suck my time. I just decided I'm too old. I'm not. Well, and I, yeah, I can't dance. So what am I going to give to anybody? You can learn a lot of phone tricks. Like <laughs> They're really good. I feel like there's so many TikTok stuff on uh, Instagram anyway. <laughs> yeah, you end up seeing it on Facebook or Instagram. Instagram just copied TikTok with Reels, so. Is this um, toxic? It doesn't say anywhere. The uh, ink. Is it toxic? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, flammable liquid, please keep away. It says flammable. Yeah, it does have the Prop 65. Um, I need to wash my hands. Well, I'll call her. Yeah, I'll just wash my hands normally. Everyone is so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good. We're, we're like in our Zen mode. I know this is such a good Zen mode. It's kind of like watercolors to some extent. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody got anything to share? Not yet. <laughs> Here's what I'm starting to do. Oh, that's <laughs> nice too. Look at you. <laughs> I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build off of this. Did anyone else have the color red by any chance? Uh -oh. Oh. Is it red? I Ooh, red. I tried yeah. it. it. It looked uh, a little scary, so I'm going to pass it. It's kind of a blood red. Yeah, I've been mixing yeah. it with the blue. Stick to my yellow. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I could just wipe it off, so that yeah. was good. I was hoping the blue, I have cerulean, not blue, so. I was hoping the cerulean and the red would mix with purple, but they don't. Plate? Uh, more fun than I thought. I, I forgot that we got the plate to do too. This is kind of cool. The problem with this is that I think we're all perfectionists and so we're like, oh, I can make it better. Oh, I can make it better. <laughs> this is never going to stop. Great. I just keep blending it. <laughs> <I'm> just <kidding. laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I like, like the bottom of it the most. <laughs> How oh, do I get pretty. that onto the sides? That's cool. That is cool. I bet I could do that on the plate, though, maybe. Do that. Okay, this is the next progression of the plate. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. <laughs>
Ended up with black, but I'm kind of painting on it to like make it like gray textural. That's really Ooh, cool. That's really cool. So you're you're literally like using your paintbrush and creating pattern. Yeah, I'm using paintbrush and kind of feathering it and mm -hmm. giving it some texture, but it's also helping like make it gray instead of. It was a pretty dark black that like dripped down and I was like, ooh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I look at that, but. Where can you show that again? I didn't see it. It's cool. Wow, it looks very dimensional. Awesome. Yeah, it's turning out pretty cool. Cause I was like, I didn't want like big black drips. Hey guys, I made a set. <gasps> wow. Ooh, that's so fun. I love the orange. They look like sauce awesome. or is complimentary <laughs> to go with it. That looks so nice. <laughs> Gorgeous. I really like the orange and blue. Yeah, that's a nice summer color. I mean, I don't know if I should keep going because it's like you less is more, right? Yeah. I know. Maybe less is less, maybe, I don't know. That's what I'm struggling more, with. More, more, more. more is more. More is more. Who knows? Maximalist. <laughs> yeah, I think it is something you can overdo, which I'm doing <laughs> right now. I'm absolutely overdoing it. <laughs> uh. Oh, I totally ruined my desk. It's done. I'm not done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nina, come and see what mommy's doing. <laughs> Oh wow, you get like a ripple effect. <laughs> and a reminder, when you are ready, you want to put it in the oven to let it kind of cure. You don't have to you don't have to do it right away, but just before you start actually using it. You want to do it um, in the oven at 300 degrees for 30 minutes. And then it's probably best to hand wash it still, right? Yeah. yeah, definitely. No scrubbing. Maybe, maybe be very careful. Just. <laughs> I'm debating on adding a different color to my saucer or if it should match. I feel like that's the hardest. I mean, the mm -hmm. great thing is that you can take it off, but that's like the hardest. True. Thing. Like, I like it the way it is now, but what if, what if this? Mm hmm. Just add this. Definitely looking like a galaxy or something. <laughs> I love the inspirational images. I don't know how they did that, but. Beautiful. Yeah, they are professionals. Mm -hmm. 
I think go it's and hard to do it on a thing, on a three-dimensional thing, too, versus paper. Mm -hmm. But follow or um, look at the hashtag, like, alcohol inks or something on Instagram, and you'll see a ton of just crazy awesome stuff. Um, so girls, we have to put them in the oven, you said, for 30 minutes and 300 degrees, and then put mud pots when they're cooled off? Yes. Okay. Can you hear him? Actually, you're so cute. It's, it's, it is adorable. So. It's not the same if we don't get a, a kid at a... Some type of interruption from a... I think next time we do this with a sound bath. <laughs> Zen out. We probably should um, consider doing like playlists or something for these in the future. I don't know. I think my mug's done, but I could go on forever. Oh, I love it. Wow. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. You just layer for a long time. Eventually. Kinda. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, nice. That's pretty. That's so pretty. Gorgeous. That's Ryan. Ryan did this part. He did the saucer. I, I did oh, how pretty. <laughs> Nice. You are an artist, Ryan. <laughs> so this is your... You can make a little side business and get it additional to your income for her. Huh. <laughs> that looks awesome, Christina. Thank you. Let me see, Christina. Okay, so here's the mug. Very saturated. Oh, I love it. Blue and purple. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then here. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's I went really subtle with my my plate and do very not a lot water feet. I'm definitely gonna have dyed hands for a few days. <laughs> I like how this turned out. I'm just gonna keep it. I love that. Simple. And this one. I actually used the straw. This one, like, it was kind of cool. I could see how that would be fun, how those colors would fade. Mm -hmm. I feel, feel like mine is a pattern from the 80s. Ha ha. I Anybody have any um, pandemic tips out there that's keeping them sane? Any secret spots or hiking spots or food things or what's kind of happening out there? Or not happening? <laughs> it's just not happening, Christina. <laughs> I would say invest. I thought I was the only one. <laughs> hiking. I just recently invested a little more into my like work from home situation, like my desk. And it makes such a difference. I got to sit to stand desk. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like so much, I don't know, so much more productive all of a sudden. Because I'm like, I have the tools. Now I can, I don't know. And that is so important. Yeah. yeah. It's so hard right now. 
best because we had our computer so much longer than before. I feel like this is like everything is done on a computer. Yeah. I just saw a really good article. I think it was actually, oh, I forget which newspaper it was in, but it was talking about kids and how important their setup is too, since they're going to be working from home and like just the little things like their feet being able to touch the, the ground and their computer being up high enough so they're not like bending over like we are and just like those like a light to the side of them and like not for the vanity reasons but for the reason that like the teacher should be able to see them and like I don't know it's just interesting because I didn't even think about that you know like we're so worried about us and our work situation but they're not used to sitting this much either no no, there's no recess. Like, they have to create their own recess. Since I can't go to a spa, I had one of those neck massagers ship in from Amazon. It's like 50 bucks and you put it around your neck. They're the best, Christina. They're those, the best. those are the absolute. There's yeah. also another one that is called, hold on, this is what it's called, a Apollo. Apollo, <laughs> it's like a gun. And it can has two oh, settings, yeah. and it's like so darn good. I have that too. Oh, okay. yeah. And does that work good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's I need painful. You know where you're messed up because yeah, it totally. will, like, on my typing muscles, like in our forearms, you'd be surprised. Wow. Like these areas here, when you hit that with the massage gun, my whole arm—it's just like so tight. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're constantly on a keyboard. But I'm cheating, Christina. On Saturday, my girlfriend from Ojai is coming down to Long Beach and she's going to massage the four of us outside. So uh, I love she, it. She has been uh, in, what do you call it, COVID, whatever, whatever, remote. So I feel safe enough. Hello, oh, can yeah. contact? I live in Ventura. I'm only 25 minutes away from Ojai. That would be a dream. Oh, oh yeah. She I paid out a commission because she had a it's too much information, but she had a breast reduction that went bad, and oh. then she'd been out of work, so she has not seen anyone. So now she's gonna start slowly. So this is gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. You'll probably start yeah. crying. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know, just touch me, touch me. <laughs> So true. So true. <laughs> All right, ladies, I do have to sign off. Thank you so much, Sarah, Ashley, Mary Beth. I emailed you photos, and I'm going to post them on social media. What should I hashtag? Yay, yes, please share photos. Hashtag Tuesday TLA. Looks like. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank have you. Good night. Thank you, Bye. <laughs> oh, this tell his baby now. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. I'll post photos. I thank Great. you for joining. Bye. 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 Thank you. I'm going to head out too. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hi, thank you, thank you guys so Bye. much. This was fun. So much for joining. Yeah, it was so fun. Thank you. It was great. See you later. I kept starting mine over. We should get a photo of everybody <laughs> I did like a their pieces. Yeah. We do that. Yeah, let's do that quick before we all go. I feel like this one, like the energy was so low because everyone's like <laughs> zenning I, out. I agree, but I think it honestly was a good thing, right? Because yeah. we were all in our, our moment. We were all in our zen. Oh, I love you, Spider-Man. Beautiful. Screenshot. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Thank you. Y'all look so good. I